We recently witnessed a Jordanian pilot killed by immolation. Is this allowed according to Islamic law? Uh, what happened to that Jordanian pilot is by all means a crime. This barbaric action is far away from humanity, much less religion. Islam is innocent of this act. We went through the jurisprudence bases that ISIS used to support what they did, and we found that these substantiations are completely false. Is extremism becoming a more mainstream ideology? I'm not thinking of just the Middle East, but we also saw the recent attacks in Paris. Violence and radicalization have become an international phenomenon that has no home or belief but it runs through the entire world. Actually, we have been sending a lot of messages in Egypt for more than 30 years in which we warned the world against the dangers of terrorism and violence. But our words fell on deaf ears. Egypt has a leading experience in this regard because it has suffered from it and warned the world against it. We see ISIS dealing savage punishments from lashings to beheadings, but we also see these punishments in Saudi Arabia. Do they stem from the same strict interpretation of Islam? Actually, everything ISIS does is far away from Islam. What it's doing is a crime by all means. What happens in Saudi Arabia is based on judicial investigations and implementing the predominant law. If it is the case, then we respect the rule of law in this state. There have been calls to revolutionize Islam, and we've heard this from the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. What does that mean? First, we value and appreciate President Sisi's call to renew religious discourse. But we are concerned with renewing religious discourse as it has been mentioned in the president's speech. By this we mean renewing the methods, renewing the tools, and renewing the way Islam's teachings are presented. But at the same time, we preserve and uphold the stable pillars of religion. We don't want to address it. Rattling the pillars leads to destabilizing communities. A lot of young Muslims come from Western countries. So for someone who's watching this, who's thinking about potentially joining ISIS, what do you say to them? Addressing these youth, we tell them, the youth of Europe, the youth of the world, you have to seek the specialized experts to understand true Islam. Don't take this religion except from those specialized in it. This religion has been entrusted to you. We warn you, don't follow the temptations that come to you. We tell the youth, Islam did not carry a message of sabotage and destruction. It only came to serve humanity, to achieve world peace, and to bring mercy to the world.